Um, hello there. My name is Chris Palmer. In this local SEO tools for 2022, it's a brand new year, 2022. What I'd like to cover with you is some free and a few low cost tools. And I'm just going to walk through basically the extensions that I use, some of the tools that I use. I'm primarily going to be covering free tools, things that I just find handy that I find myself using and some things that will certainly help you when doing your local search engine optimization. So, of course, I don't want to waste any time. Let's get directly into it. So, the very first tool that I will go ahead and share with you is a free extension. And this free extension, of course, is, on, and I'll show you this here quick. So, if we come over here to chrispalmermarketing.com uh, forward slash New York SEO just for fun here. Uh, here's what we'll do. Oh, I, I think I took that page down here. Let me show you. K-E-T-I-N-G.com. If we come on over here, I'll just show you this tool first and foremost. And this first one is a free extension. It's called SEO Pro Extension Marketing Syrup. And what's really great about this is it's really a fast and easy way to go ahead and just take a quick look at your own site, your competitor sites, you know, just make some quick notes. It's, it's a fast and easy tool to use. I love it. I use it pretty much every single day. It's very, it's very helpful. So it, it gives you your overview. It gives you all of your headings right in a row. And what else I really like about it is it'll lay out the schema that's on the page if there's any. It does images, it does the links, whether they're internal or external. And uh, it pretty much just lays out everything for you and there's some helpful little hints and some tips here. All right, so that's a free extension. Now we'll get into maybe um, a paid tool. Something that I really love, of course, is the SEMrush platform. Now there's a magnitude of tools here. All right. So you can feel free to come on in here, but what they have that's really great is they actually have a local SEO section. It takes care of listing management, position tracking, site audits, on-page checker. It takes care of everything for you. Whether you're looking at backlinks, doing keyword research, it doesn't matter. What I really come in here to do a lot of times is backlink analytics and then the keyword magic tool. So I'm looking at backlinks, backlink profiles, anchor text, and of course, the keyword magic tool it just helps me come up with ideas. What I like about this real quick here in the keyword magic tools, if you put in a keyword and you might not know this, if I put in a keyword and say it's going to be SEO expert, right? Take a look at this just real quick. I'll just share this little helpful hint with you. If you take a look over here, it's firm law, best local market service top. See these words on the left hand side. These are co-occurring keywords. I want you to take a look at something here quick. Watch if you search for New York SEO expert, take a look here. New York SEO expert. See this site up at the very, very top. This is my site, right? But if you, when you take a look at this, I want you to come over here. I'll show you something here. I'm ranking number one for New York SEO expert, and I'm pointing out this because I want to show you how, how helpful SEMrush can be in certain instances, right? So if we come in here and we'll cover this tool that I'm showing you now that I use a lot, I want you to take a look at this. As you can see here, there's SEO in York, but I want you to remember those keywords F, best, right? So best, right? So there's best here, watch. If we take a look at this, so best city freelance Google, right? Google best. Okay. I believe I probably used freelance. Nope. Didn't use freelance uh, service, right? I literally went in and added those words based upon the recommendations from SEMrush. That's exactly what I did. I didn't use it to the set. These are times that it was found on these competitor sites. But when I was looking for co-occurring keywords to rank that page, this is where I came. So that's another very helpful tool. Now, I just showed one of the tools that I loved using. And this is SEO Quake. This is a SEMrush tool. It's completely complimentary. It's a free tool. Uh, I use it for local SEO along with... I, all SEO. I use it all the time when I'm doing quick analyzation. It's called SEO Quake. And you can come into a site much like this or a page like this. Okay. Say you wanted to come over here to the 
seomastermind.org or whatnot, and you wanted to take a look at the SEO testing page, I could just click this tool here, come to the density and figure out, hey, there's 223 words on this page. What's the densities here? Oh my goodness, this guy's using uh, a 14% SEO density on his web page. The word testing is at a 7% density. The word group is a 4% density, right? I can come through here, one, two, three, four word uh, keyword tables, and then here's what's really fun. When I wanna spin something, here, watch this. You come down here to the bottom, and I can just grab what is called like a word cloud. So I can grab this word cloud. I can come into here, and then I can come over to a tool like Jarvis, if you if you use Jarvis. I, I just got access to it to today. But I could come over here and say, okay, text summarizer. I could bring that word cloud right into here and say, okay, why don't you give me uh why don't you compose me a little something, something, something here? Right? Bada bing, bada boom, here we go. Yeehaw! Right? So uh, that's a really helpful, fun little tip. That other tool here is Jarvis. I just started playing around with this today. I, the verdict's still out on that tool. I just got access to it. So uh, we talked about SEO. We talked about SEO Quake. Now let's talk about another local tool that I really find myself loving. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of this before, uh, but there's another tool that I think you'll really, really like. Um, when you're searching, say searching from somewhere or doing something, and this is called the Valentin.app. Okay, I don't know if you've ever heard of this before. Uh, Valentin app uh, search from uh, it's on probably on my other computer, but this Valentin app. What's really great about this is it's completely free. You can come right to the Valentin app. You can search for your keyword. Let's say it's going to be. Uh, SEO expert, right? So I could search for SEO expert in the United States, but more so, how about New York, right? Or better yet, maybe it's not in New York. Maybe it's in Canada, okay? So maybe I want to go to Canada, and then here it's going to be the geo code. So what's the geo code? I don't know. How about Toronto, okay? So then you click the geo code. Now I'm in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, SEO expert, and search, and then poof. Now I'm searching from like I'm in Toronto. If we scroll down here, take a look here. I'll show you. Oh, it actually says I'm in Wilkesbury. That's quite interesting. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, I, I, I think I messed something up there. I probably did something wrong here. I didn't put in the proper geo code. Or perhaps it doesn't work for other countries. Uh, select a region and sec. Oh, that's what I did here. Wrong SEO expert. But you guys get the point. I don't want to drag this video out too long. But this is a really cool tool. I think you'll really like it. Usually when I'm doing this, I'm usually doing the United States, to be honest. So let's not be fancy, Chris. Let's just show the good people how we do it. So if we're in New York, okay, and I'm searching for an SEO expert and I'm in New York or perhaps I'm in uh, Toronto, for some reason, it decided to do the search now properly. <laughs> I love it. It's a good tool, though. You should check it out. Valentin app. It's completely free. I think you'll love it. Another really cool tool that I really like to use is this one up here. I'll go ahead and show you this one. This is GeoSearch by Five Blocks. Now, this particular tool is uh, definitely going to be um, kind of like the Valentin app, but I don't have to go to a platform. This is a Chrome extension. Uh, within this Chrome extension, you can come right into here. I can open this up and I could say, um, you know, I'm searching for uh, an, an SEO expert. We're just going to do this one here. And then the city is going to be uh, Manhattan. So we're going to say Manhattan, New York, English page one search. So now what's really great about this is this has modified the browser. If I scroll down here and you take a look right here, see this down in the bottom? Google seems to think, or Google thinks this browser, at least this search, I'm in Manhattan, New York. All right. So it's kind of like I'm searching from that location. So when you're really looking for that geo data you know, like, hey, how am I actually ranking in this particular part of town or this part of town or this city or this this neck of the woods? You know, this tool can become very, very helpful. And I'll teach you one more trick, all right? So uh, a very popular thing, uh, I'll give you a tool here quick that I like to use. I'll just share this one with you. Uh, this one is a paid tool, um, but if you go to uh, local, 
falcon okay local falcon something that i like to use is local falcon local falcon of course is a paid tool it's moderately priced um i've seen worsely priced but it gives you a really pretty report um but in any case what they're giving you this report here is is a geo grid so if you don't want to pay the x amount of dollars every month to figure out what your exact uh rankings are in this particular area another option for you is to of course use this five blocks little uh extension and it's very helpful so not only does it work for you know your search results your regular serp but it also works for google maps and let me show you so let's just say for instance seo expert manhattan so i can search right and just like we talked about before i can come down here and i know that google thinks that i'm in manhattan new york right and i'll show you a little trick a little workaround that somebody showed me uh a really good guy's first name's reese i won't say anymore but if you come right here and i search and i click this first result because if you do it any other way it won't work but if you click this first result like this you're actually it actually thinks if you scroll on down here look at it, it thinks i'm in manhattan pretty cool right so now i can get relevant maps rankings from a particular city or town so that's pretty cool so this is the five blocks extension and again this is a completely free extension super helpful awesome tool right and it's free free is always the best if it's free it's for me it's probably for you too so in any case moving on uh what i want to go ahead and show you is uh something that i really really like it's not free however it's so inexpensive See, I got a hundred thousand credits, I think, for ten bucks. And again, and, and I want to make this totally clear. I'm, I'm making this on my own accord. <laughs> like, like I'm not promoting. There's no affiliate links to be found. Um, I, I'm just showing you stuff that I use that I like that can help your local SEO. Period. End. So if we click on this here, all right. So there's a uh, hundred thousand credits for ten bucks. And what I do is I turn off everything. And then when I want to use it or I'm looking for search volume or cost per click data or maybe a few keyword ideas, then I just click it on. And then too, when I set this up inside of settings, as you can see here, I went inside of here and I turned off like all this stuff because each of these cost like pieces of credit, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm calling for the data, the least amount of data that's relevant for me. That way I save the amount of credits like that 100,000 credits is going to last me at least a whole year, <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe longer than a year. I've already had it for four months and I only used, I would consider, you know, uh, what, 700 credits. So it, it's very helpful. And let me show you what this does. So if you come over here and you search for, say, SEO, um, let's go SEO consulting. All right. So SEO consulting, right? So I can see here now, this has my, I turn this on and now I have, it's a, it's a 4,400 a month search term, right? That's overall volume. Then we have our cost per click. It's given me some competition details. And then over here on the right hand side, it's going to give me some other keyword data. All right. Now I turned off these metrics because this cost, as you can see here, it costs credits. Okay. And I don't need that. I'm searching for this keyword. I want to see the credits. And this, th this is pretty accurate. There's another, I won't state the name, but there's another free one out there, but the data just isn't the same. When you look at say a SEMrush or an Ahrefs data, and then you look at that data, or you take a look at this data, this is a little bit closer. I really like this tool. Um, and, and that's that. I mean, as you can see, I'm, I use it and that's it. Um, so I just want to go ahead and make a brief recap here of, of the tools that we talked about. So the very first one is going to be um, SEO extension by uh, marketing, marketing syrup. Okay. The number two tool is SEO quake. Okay. Three SEMrush. Okay. Four, uh, I think I used uh, five blocks, okay. Uh, five was the valentin.app. I could have spelled that wrong, but I'm sure you can 
catch it by there. So uh, SEMrush, so we have uh, SEO extension by S uh, Marketing Syrup, SEO Quake, SEMrush, Five Blocks, the Valentin app. Um, another one was, uh, what else did I use here? Oh, uh, keyword, keywords everywhere, right? So keywords everywhere. Um, and let me just see here. Oh, and last but not least, of course, I want to throw this in here because this is an excellent tool. I use this quite, quite frequently. This is Plepper. Okay, so Plepper is very handy, and, and that's this one right here. So when you're doing, a, say, a, a map search, let's just say we're searching for uh, SEO consultants, okay, New York. All right, so we're just going to use that as an example. When we come over here to the maps section or the maps area, what we're going to see here is we have our list of our businesses, and let's just say we go up here to Long Island Local SEO. I click on them. Not only will I get, if we go back here, I'll show you this. You saw how when I first came here, there was a whole list here of different categories, how many people used it. Here, I'll start back over so you can get the full gist of it because this tool is just absolutely phenomenal. I, I, there's not a better one out there when it comes to this type of data, um, and it's free. I mean, <laughs> how can you go wrong? So say you search in a primary search term. You come over here to Maps, right? We come over here, and as soon as all of this data on the left-hand side, remember we search for this primary keyword, what's going to show up here is on the right side, you have a list of all your categories. So it's going to list out the categories, and it's going to give us a brief analysis that, hey, 26% of these businesses are using internet marketing service as their primary, uh, this is their primary category. Then it's going to give their secondary categories here. And then also it's going to tell us about the reviews, the attributes, and you can check this out for yourself. I just want to point these tools out to you, all right? Uh, but on top of that, if I say I come in here and click on, say, this business here, local island, local SEO, I have no idea who it is. It's going to give me another information panel on the right side here, as you can see over here. It's going to list out pretty much all of their relevant details, including their place ID, their categories, their address, business profile ID, their phone number, website, like everything. And then there's helpful little links down in here, like maybe their Foursquare account or their Facebook or maps and um, uh, all types of relevant data. So this is yet another really helpful tool uh, that I really, really like and I use quite frequently uh, when doing these things. So um, we went over SEO extension by Marketing Syrup, SEO Quake, SEMrush, Five Blocks, Valentin App, Keywords Everywhere, and Plepper. I'm trying to recall in my mind here, is there anything else that I use uh, pretty frequently uh, that's just a free, easy-to-use tool or a really cheap tool? Not necessarily. I mean, of course, um, aside from that, I, I love to use... Uh, page optimizer, but we've talked about this numerous times, probably countless times 